Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Justin Garfield, and here's a quick look at what's making news on Monday, April 4th, 2016. Many students are catching up on sleep following a weekend of dancing and fundraising. This marks the 20th annual Nightthon, which raises money for the Greater Orlando Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Reporter Jordan E. Morgan was there to witness school history and the miracles made. 1,500 dancers fundraising inside the dim CFE arena. $820,000 is their goal. Families of the kids benefiting from local hospitals share their stories with the dancers, like the Thornbury family, whose daughter Arden is fighting a sickness that's incurable. She will be um, a patient of Arnold Palmer and Shans in Gainesville and a Children's Miracle Network patient for the rest of her life because she was also diagnosed with a mitochondrial disease. Hours later, some dancers retired, but they just kept dancing to support kids like Arden. This is nothing compared to what the families and the children have to go through. Not only am I thankful for all my donors, but I'm also thankful for the opportunity to get to dance for a great cause. After 20 hours, they sit for the first time. Nighton coordinators award the top fundraisers, then stories from more families right before the big reveal. The moment of truth. More than $1 million fundraised for the kids. Executive Director of Nightthon, Nicole Ramirez, says she was overwhelmed with emotion. But overall, it's so rewarding. I mean, that number, none of us could have imagined that, and we're just so grateful that so many people are so passionate about this cause that we could produce that. It's amazing. Dr. Scott Rivkeys, academic chairman of Arnold Palmer's Hospital, says the money will be used in a variety of ways. We have cutting edge research programs, cancer research, diabetes research, clinical care, help support some of the marquee clinical programs we have, and then also education that supports the training of the next generation of pediatricians. Thornbury says she appreciates all the dancers do for thousands of children like her own. So emotional for us because without them she wouldn't be here. So Nightthon is such a valuable piece that maybe not everyone realizes and it goes much deeper than just today in the arena. Helping to make miracles one dance move at a time. In Orlando, Jordan E. Morgan, UCF Nightly News. Ramirez says next year Nightthon will rally up the Orlando community to go past this year's million dollar mark. Today is the first day of ticket distribution for Universal Nights, but if you couldn't get one today, you still have a few more opportunities. The next distributions are Wednesday, April 6th inside the CFE Arena at 6 p.m., Thursday, April 7th in the CFE Arena lobby at 8 a.m., Saturday, April 9th at the John T. Washington Center at noon, and Tuesday, April 12th inside the CFE Arena at 10 a.m. The Universal Knights event is Sunday, April 17th from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. In sports, the NCAA March Madness Tournament concludes tonight with the National Championship game as the Villanova Wildcats battle the North Carolina Tar Heels for that special one shining moment. Villanova took down Oklahoma Saturday night by a score of 95-51, to 51, the largest margin of victory in the history of the Final Four. Later that night, North Carolina topped Syracuse 83-66. Four Tar Heels scored in double figures as they held off a late rally by the Orange. The game tips off at 9.19 p.m. on TBS. UCF Baseball earned a series victory over Memphis this weekend. After dropping the first contest, the Knights won the next two by a combined score of 16-3. The team will be back home to face FAU tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. The UCF women's basketball team has a new leader. Katie Abrahamson Henderson was introduced as the next head coach last Friday. She joins the Knights after six seasons at Albany, where she had a 146 and 47 overall record as the coach of the Great Danes. And here's a quick look at our weather forecast for today. Today we have a high of 82 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 80 degrees and a low of 59 degrees, with a low chance of rain for both days. That's all the time we have for now. Be sure to check out our newscast on Friday at 1.30 on Bright House Channel 734. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. I'm Justin Garfield. Thanks for watching and have a great day.